Let's differentiate the norm reference tests from criterion reference tests. Let's do examples first. Examples of norm reference tests are standardized aptitude tests, teacher-made survey tests, interest inventories, example of interpreting a result, a learner ranks 5th in a classroom group of 40, and results often used for proficiency or placement decisions. Well, examples of criterion reference tests are end of the unit test, pass or fail term exam. Example of interpreting a result, a learner multiplies three digit whole numbers correctly and accurately. As to their definitions, norm reference test compares individual results to the results of other children. While criterion reference test compares result to predetermined criteria, not compared to other children. What does it determine? Norm reference tests determine the child's overall developmental level in a specific area compared to same age test takers. While criterion reference tests determine mastery of content often pertaining to curriculum or program content. How is it administered? Form norm reference test, a standardized test is given individually to the student. It is a scripted format to ensure it is administered the same way to all. Students have little to no knowledge of the content of the test prior to the assessment. For criterion reference tests, it is not a standardized test. It can be given in a group format without set directions. It can be used as a pre- or post-assessment to determine students' prior knowledge and assess their new learning and retention of information taught. As to scoring, for norm reference tests, scores are distributed on a bell or normal curve. Row score pertains to the number the student got correct. This row score is converted to a norm score. Norm scores can be represented in various ways such as a percentile or grade equivalent. For example, if a student scores in the 90th percentile, it is said that the test taker performed better than 90% of the individuals taking the test. Well, for criterion reference tests, test scores can be represented in various ways. The number of correct answers is based on predetermined set of criteria. It can be scored as a percentage, met or not met, pass or fail, etc. Individual scores can be compared to a class to give the teacher an indication of effective teaching as well as students' understanding concepts. Results are used to measure mastery of specific material. Hope you can now differentiate the norm reference tests from criterion reference tests.